Hi, I'm Steve Shedding, co-founder of Green Atlas. Our vision is to manage the life cycle of every fruit tree on the planet. So, what we're aiming for, and what we help growers do, is try to turn every tree into what we call the Goldilocks tree. And what that means is that that tree has exactly the right amount of fruit to maximise the earning potential per hectare. So we want to maximise the number of dollars. And that covers the entire life cycle of the fruit, from the time it's a flower all the way through to harvest. Growers also want to understand exactly how many pieces of fruit am I going to pick. That helps prime the entire supply chain. That means labour hire, means how many boxes do I need, uh, freight and logistics, all the way through to stock market reporting. It even helps Coles and Woolies understand how many pieces of fruit are going to turn up on my shelves and when are they going to turn up. Now, it's probably fairly easy to, have, to understand how I might manage a single tree, but when you scale it up to the size of a full orchard, you begin to get a sense of the enormity of the problem. One of our larger customers has about four and a half million trees under management, all of which we want to be that Goldilocks tree. Now, currently, in order to manage that crop, Growers are typically only going out and getting a very, very small amount of data, and almost all of that data is captured by hand. In fact, this is our primary competitor in this space. So this is how we do it. So introducing the Green Atlas Orchard Cartographer. Not only is this the most advanced orchard scanning platform on the planet, it's also the fastest. <laughs> so in the time that uh, a person has managed to count all the flowers or all the fruit on a single tree, we've counted the flowers or the fruit on 6,000 trees with this platform. <laughs> so this is how we do it. Initially, we go in with our data gathering platform and we scan every single tree, every single flower, every single fruit. Then we turn all of that data into actionable decision support. And finally, we automate the process of managing and optimising that crop so that it achieves its maximum potential. In this case, we're looking at a spraying system that's spraying something like a chemical flower thinning agent. When we finish this process, we've optimised every tree in the orchard, now every tree is that Goldilocks tree. So in order to help us along this journey and achieve this vision, we've already amassed the world's largest data set in apple orchards. Um, we amassed this data in a single two-week intensive, two-week period, uh, in southern New South Wales and Victoria. This is what it looks like when we put it all together. Last week, uh, a grower has asked us to come in and understand their, f uh, their flower distribution over an entire orchard. And what that allows them to do is actually put together a management plan so that they can optimise the potential of this orchard over the coming growing season. In this image, uh, you can see our current data delivery and analysis platform. Um, and in the, in the image, we're actually able to show this particular grower the difference in potential from plants that were actually purchased from two different nurseries. And the difference is really clear. And that's allowed the grower to do two things. One is to manage the zones differently. It would have all been managed as a single block prior to this. It also tells them which nursery to buy their, buy their trees from in the future. Um, shortcut, top right hand corner, these are the good ones. Lots of flowers, lots of fruit. Um, in terms of traction, uh, we've managed to capture uh, a small number but of large customers. Combined, these customers represent greater than 10% of the entire Apple industry in Australia. Um, in addition to the statistics you can see on the screen, we're also experiencing, I guess, one very excited industry. The pull for the kind of technology that we're doing, because it's core to the value stream of our customers, has been absolutely overwhelming. Um, and in fact, we've only been asked to do more and more and more. 
The addressable market is large and growing. If we expand from the apples that we're doing now to our top 10 most commercially valuable uh, fruits, maybe apples, almonds, mangoes, fruits like this, the, we get an order of magnitude increase in the addressable market. If you factor in Europe, there's another order of magnitude increase, and expanding the US and China, there's another order of magnitude again. So, why are James Underwood and I ideally poised to realise the, the Green Atlas vision? Well, James is the world expert in, acknowledged world expert, in the use of machine vision techniques applied to tree crops. This is something he's been doing for six plus years. I've managed a lot of large product development programs in autonomous systems uh, for many large companies, um, including a fairly long stint with one of the world's largest mining companies. How do we make money? So we're fundamentally a services company. Um, what the customers pay is a fee per hectare for our data gathering, data analysis and delivery, and ultimately for a fully automated service helping them optimise their, their crops. The ask is for 1.6 million to help us achieve our next order of magnitude ramp up. So principally, that'll allow us to really establish ourselves in the Apple industry in Australia, um, ramp up the engineering, software developments, marketing and sales, um, and ramp, in, ramp up into an additional four crop types. So, Green Atlas, we're going to manage the life cycle of every fruit tree on the planet. Thanks for your attention, and I'm happy to talk more at our booth at the back. In fact, first 20 or 30 people we keep missing apples might get an apple. <laughs> so, thank you.